Is the Ryton One Primal 3x9x40 worth your $200? Well, I'm Braden with Messy Branch Outdoors, and we're going to talk about it. All right, now we're going to talk about this thing. For YouTube purposes, chamber flag is in, safety is on, magazine is empty. So, what I really enjoyed about this, which we... I'm stumbling over my words. You're going to have to give me a minute. <laughs> Is that it has the parallax adjustment. I never had that on a scope before. It has turrets. These good turrets you'll see in B-roll probably. I don't know when. has 3x9 uh, flip-up little things. They can be removed. I removed the back one because my hat goes over the top of the optic. I did have a Simmons 3x9x32 without the parallax, and that's a, it's still a good scope. We put it on a different 22, shot it a lot, still shoot it. But this is just, the glass is a lot clearer. The reticle is a lot thinner. Like, same reticle, it's just thinner. No nicks or nothing, just a classic cross. And the uh, glass clears could be Nothing no, nothing wrong with it. I had no problems. So here are a few of my things I found good about it. I, I really like the uh, removable, if I can get it here. You can remove that little knob right there. So for me, if I have my power all the way up on 9, which I do when I'm group testing, my bolt will almost hit that and my hand will smack it whenever I rack my bolt. So I can just take that out, set it in my box, but whenever I'm done, say I'm going hunting, I might need to adjust it awful quick. Just screw it right back in, and you're set. Just move, easy. There is optics that have the easier adjustment move. But that knob has really helped me, because I like to get my thumb up under the scope if I can. But on this, I can't. But that knob just, it's a game changer. I don't think I want to get a scope without parallax now. I think they've sold me on that. It did not come with rings. These were rings I had on my web, my gun before. These whole things can be taken off. So let's start talking about some of the specs. It is the one primal, 3x9x40, you already heard that, has the one inch diameter tube, has 80 MOA of adjustment range, has it, said it claims to be waterproof, fogproof, and shockproof. That's what it claims. I've not tested it. Probably won't. The reticle, RHR, if any of y'all want to hear that. It claims to have aircraft grade aluminum. And they do have a lifetime warranty. And this scope really tightened up my groups with the parallax. It's a lot clearer. I can turn it up to nine instead of just going to six and it blurring out. Back here, I will remove this. This set claim to be quick focus. Twist that up for dad. He can't see the best. Whenever he shoots, he's got to turn that all the way back and I got to turn it all the way back in. Kind of annoying. Can't help it though. All right, more on the parallax actually. I'm going to shut this up right here so I can get my hand around. Easy easy to twist, does not have numbers on it, just a uh, white bar. You can just take like a black Sharpie or a little little piece of tape or something and uh, mark it at say a certain range. For me, I'm shooting 25 yards, which I shoot a uh, competition at 25 yards. And just average, probably perfect side end range. So while I'm in this, I'm gonna get up here to the turrets they do have good tracking, zero resettable, good clicks. I have that re re zero reset, so in case I shoot longer range, bump it up to MOA. So I kind of skipped over something with the parallax. It does way different than what this knob back here does. This knob clears up the glass, and say on that Simmons I had on here, it did not have that parallax. And I would turn it up to six power, say, for shooting at 25 yards. And it, 
and my, my crosshairs would get a little blurry. And then I would adjust this and the, it would just get even more blurry. So this, I've learned, this will focus your glass and this focuses your reticle at that range. So, so on some of those optics that don't have parallax, we'll have the parallax set or not parallax, but have it set say at 120 yards or something like that. So it'll be the clearest there. And then that will, uh, so that kind of limits you to shoot in close range or that at a higher power. See on this, I can turn it up to nine at 15 yards if I wanted to. And this scope is so clear, like the glass and the zoom, everything is just so good, perfect. We've been able to sit on the porch with it chamber flag in, of course, and magazine out, safety on, and just pick out a leaf on a tree 15, 20 yards away and put the gun on a rest and look at the veins inside the leaf. I mean, it was crazy. I think that was like the second day after we got it. But we honestly, I got this on my 22 that I just do everything on. I've killed many animals on this 22, squirrels, groundhogs. Killed groundhogs and groundhogs. Filled it with a scope, really easy. Closer range, turn my power up, get a more precise shot, good kill shot. Don't want to don't want to go around wounding any animals. All right, I've come up to a conclusion here, getting closer to the end of the video. I would say the scope is worth the two hundred dollars that my parents was able to get this. It is worth the money. Let's say that. There might be better optics you can get for the money out there. Maybe not sure. Are we. This is the most expensive optic I think we've ever owned. Most expensive one I've ever had. Um, it can be put on centerfire rifles. If you search up Wrighton on YouTube, you'll see their channel. You'll see some reviews. I've seen a person do a review on a 6.5 Creedmoor with it. Just, it, it don't have to be on a 22. And also, my groups have tightened up, shooting the exact same ammunition, exact same range. The group's tightened up. I was able to turn it on up to nine power with the uh, parallax. My scores went up from a 160 out of 200 to I've gotten a highest of 186 out of 200. Averaging around 180 out of this gun, which actually did qualify me for state tournament. We'll be there in the next couple weeks. And I believe, I hope I do good there. Might be able to go to Kansas shooting. But... That's about going to wrap it up. If y'all want to see more videos like this, make sure to like, subscribe. And if you want to see me do a review on this whole setup, what I've done with it, just the entire setup, comment, writing. If you want me to do the entire setup, just go over it. Same thing here, just sit, talk about it. Make sure y'all like, subscribe. Go follow us on social media, Messer Branch Outdoors, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. And YouTube, of course. But I believe that's going to do it all. Thank you all for watching. Have a good day.